Hello and welcome to Finding Books in OneSearch. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to search for books and ebooks in OneSearch, the university library's search engine. OneSearch is a kind of library Google. It searches all the items in our local catalog, books, CDs, DVDs, etc. It also searches all the items in the catalogs of all the libraries in the, all the other California state universities. To access OneSearch, go to the University Library's homepage, which you can find by typing CPP Library into Google or the search engine of your choice. Now, there is a basic search box for OneSearch front and center on the library homepage, but in order to get the best results from OneSearch, you should select the Advanced Search option here. Clicking on that link will take you to the Advanced Search page for OneSearch. Above the series of search fields, there are a few radio buttons, each of which allows you to change the scope of what you're looking for. The default setting in OneSearch is everything, and by everything we mean everything. A search in this mode searches everything in our catalog, everything in all 22 other CSU libraries catalogs, and everything in all our article databases that OneSearch happens to connect with. As results in this mode can be a bit overwhelming, it isn't recommended that you use it, unless you know exactly what you're looking for and can just input the title. The article setting allows you to search many of our article databases. To see how that works, please see our video tutorial on finding articles in OneSearch. The Books and Media CPP setting limits your search to just what we have in the physical collection and the ebooks that we have access to. If you need something immediately, this is the setting you want. Finally, the Course Reserves CPP setting allows you to look up books that your professors have put on reserve for your class. This means that these books are only available for brief checkouts to ensure that every student in the class can have access to the book. So let's do a brief search in OneSearch. First off, let's set the search parameters to Books and Media CPP so we can see the books that we have here on campus. In the search box, I'm going to put the words Data Visualization. Note that I've put the words in quotation marks. This tells OneSearch that I wanted to search for those two exact words in that exact order. Now we'll hit search. Now looking at my results here on the page, you can see that the results I'm getting all say check for online access. These are ebooks. So how do you access an ebook? Well, when we click on the title of one of our search results, it takes us to its records page. Normally, this would tell us where to find the book on the shelf at the library. However, ebooks, being digital, don't have a physical location. So in this case, there's just going to be a link to click on. Now, if you're doing this search from off campus, you may not see the link, but you will be prompted to log in with your Bronco ID and password. Once you do this, the link to, the ac to access the ebook will become visible. Once the link is there, you just click on it to access the ebook. So what if you want a physical book? What we can do is go over to the filter menu on the left hand side of the screen. Under the heading available at CPP, we're going to select the filter option available in the library. This will filter the results to only provide physical books available in the library. Now when we click on one of these books, we will see that instead of a link to access the electronic copy of this book, we see instead information on where to find the book and if the book is currently available. Besides the title of the book, there are three vital pieces of information on this page that you will need if you're going to find a book on the shelves of the library. First, there is the floor on which the book is located. The library has six floors, and you don't want to search every one of them to find your book. So knowing that the book is located on the fourth floor is really helpful. However, the fourth floor is kind of big. So how can you tell where on the fourth floor the book is located? Well, this is where the call number comes in. The call number will tell you where on the floor and where on the shelf that book is located. If you click on the Locate button next to the call number, it will provide you with a map of the floor of the library where the book is located and give a rough diagram of where books in a call number range are shelved to help you find it. The final crucial piece of information you will need to know in order to locate and check out a physical book in the library is that book's status. In this case, the book in question has a status of item in place. This means the book is available and should be there on the shelf. If the book had a status such as checked out or lost, you would know not to go looking for it. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions about OneSearch, our other databases, or research in general, please contact us. You can use the 24-7 chat widget on the library homepage or email us at researchhelp at cpp.edu.